Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Ask Rob Trek where I try to answer your questions from the comments sections of my videos and if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll always do my best to try and answer them. All right, we'll start with a question from Deb Nell. Ladies first, as always, says, thank you for all your wonderful info. I'm wanting to use Star AF and Live Comp and save those settings to C1. Can you please do a video for this? Sure, no problem. Uh, it's very easy to do. And uh, it's actually the kind of photography I do time to time, because I'm assuming you want to combine Star AF with Live Comp to do uh, Star Trails type photography. So as I'm setting it up, I'll show you the settings that I use when I do that kind of photography and hopefully you find that helpful as well. All right, let's go ahead and put the camera into bulb mode first. This will allow us to go into live comp. And then you can see we're in bulb mode here. We'll just rotate the dial back twice so that we go into live comp mode. Now let's go into the super control panel and I'm going to change the focus points to uh, middle is good. And then uh, let's go to SAF and we're going to change this to Starry Sky AF by rotating the front dial over. And we're stuck in mechanical shutter when we use live comp, which is fine. And then we're going to choose uh, 5300K for white balance. And then uh, we'll just do raw plus JPEG here like so. And then uh, I'm going to change my ISO to 1000 at f2.8 and these settings will vary a little bit depending on how much light pollution you have in your sky but these settings have worked well for me uh, now let's go into the menu and this will take us into the live comp menu directly and I'll show you a setting for this so that if you just want to go into the regular menu but let's change this to 25 seconds and that generally works for me now there's a bunch of other settings here you can kind of ignore these you may want to change the bulb time monitor to a brighter level than negative four. Uh, but this is just bright enough for me to see it well enough, but not so dark like the default setting. Uh, the other thing you may want to consider is if you're not powering the camera via USB, uh, you may want to drop this down to two hours because you don't want the battery to die uh, before the live comp is done. Uh, so I found, you know, two hours is pretty reliable. I've gotten away with three hours, but when you're doing live comp for star trails, it's best to have a USB power bank plugged in, uh, you know, at least 20,000 milliamps so that you can go, you know, four to six hours without any issues. Now you can continue to hit the menu button and this will take you back out to the main menu where you can scroll and look at the other settings, but there's really nothing else we need to do at this point except save it to a custom mode. So C1 is empty right now, so I'll click OK here, click Assign, and then click on Set. And now we're done. We'll hit the menu button to back out, and now you can see C1 is set. So even if I go into Aperture Priority or Program Mode, you, you can see all the settings have changed. If I go into C1, you can see we're back into Live Comp Mode at F2.8. If I click the menu button, we're at 25 seconds, etc. So, and then from here, you just push the shutter button to get the uh, base exposure. And that's going to take 25 seconds. And then after that's done, what you can do now is you push the uh, AF on button to activate the Starry Sky AF. And it's going to try and find the stars. And then you push the shutter button again. And now it'll start to do the live composite for you. Okay, so the next question here is from uh, Guru Prasanna, and he actually has two questions. Uh, one is, uh, how do I set silent mode for Pro Capture? And then the second question is, uh, I have set cross AF with C1 button, and I have set AF small to HP, or the home point, right? And when I press the center of the joystick, it changes from the cross AF to small. My question is, how do I switch back to cross AF which I set default in C1. All right, so previous models to the OM-1, uh, like the EM-1 Mark II, Mark III, etc., you used to be able to toggle back and forth between the home point and the previous target point that you were using by just pressing the home point button, which in this case you have set to the joystick center, right? Uh, you can't do that anymore with the OM-1. Uh, what you have to do is kind of revert back to using the lever to switch cross points. And I think that's probably the best way. So I'll show you how to do that. 
And then also, uh, it's very easy to set the silent mode for Pro Capture, so let's start with that. All right, the first thing we'll do is we'll just uh, go into Pro Capture mode, and I'm just going to go into Shutter Priority because that's usually what you're using when you use the Pro Capture. And then uh, we'll go into the Super Control Panel, and let's change the Shutter mode to Pro Capture SH2. We'll change the Continuous Autofocus, and that's really all we need to do. Maybe you want to shoot in RAW. Uh, but now if I push the shutter button, you might might hear that beep sound, and I assume that's what you're trying to get rid of. So let's go into the menu, and we're going to go into the wrench menu, and you just want to kind of scroll over until you see the little uh, speaker icon, which is here. And then scroll down and just turn that off. And now when I have pressed the shutter button, there's no more beeping. And that's effectively silent mode because the shutter is in silent mode as well. All right, now to change your focus points from, say, cross point to a uh, home point, which you set up to be small, let me just do that real quick. Uh, so what I'll do is we'll just uh, tap on the joystick and change this to cross. We'll recenter it. And let's go into the menu. And we go to AF. And let's see, it's going to be right here you have target modes yeah set home this is the hp that you were referring to and we're going to change that to small and then we're going to have that in the center as well and then uh, you also change the button settings for the multi-selector here and you change this to hp or home point so that no matter what I do with the uh, joystick on the point, if I just push the center button here, it'll go back to that small AF point there in the center. But your question is, how do you get back to the cross point? And it used to toggle if you push this on, on the previous camera models. But on the OM-1, the best way to do this, really, and then you can save it to C1 like I showed earlier, uh, is to actually go back into the menu, go to the multi-selector, and just disable this altogether. And then go into your uh, autofocus points and change this to cross point, and then switch this position lever two, and then change this to small point, like that. So when I go to position one, you can see we have cross point. And when I go to position two, you can see we have small point. So this is the only way to toggle quickly between different AF target points. And then you would just go into the menu and custom mode, we'll save this to C1 again, assign, set, set, and you're done. So now, I'll put this in the C1, and it should remember that I'm in cross point and lever position 1. I switch to lever position 2. I'm now in small point, and that's that's the way to do it. And if, if I'm in cross point like I am now, if I push the uh, center button, it doesn't switch it back to the home point, because remember, we disabled that in the menu. All right, and that's all I have for today. And if you found this video helpful, consider buying me a coffee or making a small donation in the links below because they help me to continue making videos like this for you, and they are greatly appreciated. So thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.